You people want this food good or you want it fast? Elizabeth, you're late. Look, I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm a little stressed out because I can't afford to play favorites even if you are the gleam in my boy's baby blues. Believe me, sir, I wasn't trying to take advantage. Well, uh, In fact, I'm a half hour early. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 darling, look. This is Ruby's schedule. And there you are, right there. Right, and if you follow the double asterisk down here and then check my schedule last week to see that I worked the PM shift twice, you'll notice that I'm not in for another half hour. Oh, you're right. Woman should have been an air traffic controller. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, Elizabeth, I don't want to get the hang of this, believe me. I thought you and Bobby were going to hire a full-time manager. We're working on it, but it's, uh, it's just not going as smoothly as I might have hoped. Elizabeth, as long as you're early, would you mind uh, running down to that restaurant supply place on the docks and getting us a new cheese grater? What happened to the one we already have? It's all gunked up with Parmesan. And Bobby and I are committed to modernizing. Okay, I guess we'll be back soon. Great. Thank you. I don't know what's left between us, Catherine. I really haven't had time to think about it, you know. I know what it's like to be betrayed. How it worries your mind and makes you question everyone and everything. But I swear to you, Nicholas, I did not betray you. Catherine, I heard you. Okay, you, you told Elena that you were using me. Those were just chosen words to throw her off the track. And when I had a chance, I, I protected you. How do I know? How, how do I know that? If I would have told Helena that you were Stefan's son, she would have confronted you immediately. Maybe she was just uh, waiting for the right moment. Uh, maybe you intended to tell Helena yourself, but Alexis beat you to it. I, I don't know. The point is, how can I be sure? Would you look at me? Please. <sighs> I didn't say a word to Helena because I wanted you to trust me again. Please. Give me a chance to prove myself. Have my sweet the Port Charles Hotel. One where we used to meet. I could go there. I, I can't. I have plans today. How about tomorrow? Absolutely. Oh, sorry it took so long. There was um, construction on the docks. Well, that's no problem. Has that man been waiting long? What man? Oh, I'll get him some coffee. Thank you. Hey, you ready? For what? I thought you wanted to go see Shiva today. Oh, um, yeah, I have to work. I can't. What do you want me to wait? I can wait. 
you want. You all right? Yeah, I'm great. Why? I oh, don't know. You seem a little distant today. <sighs> well, you know, I'm just trying to concentrate on business. Mr. Spencer is still trying to get the hang of running the place, and he needs all the support he can get right now. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I've got to slip out to get some aspirin or something for this headache. Did you happen to notice when you were on the docks if the Corinthos Warehouse coffee thing is open yet? Oh, sorry, no? no. Okay, well, I, I, I'd like to check that out myself uh, if you think you can handle things here. Oh, I'll be fine. Don't okay. Worry. Nicholas. <laughs> well, um, I better get back to work. Elizabeth, it's probably better if you tell me. What? You saw Catherine and me on the docks, didn't you? get into this I'd like to explain but you don't have to really it, it doesn't matter so could we just forget it I want to okay you sit down I guess Emily must have seen the same thing I did that's why she was so upset oh I wish what Emily saw was a lot worse I know that Emily is still very uncomfortable around me. I, I, I hate that this happened. And look, you're uncomfortable around me too. Not really. <laughs> yes, you are. That's okay. I understand. I mean, here you are in a completely honest relationship with Lucky and here I am. Involved with a woman who was engaged to my father, that must seem pretty bizarre to you. Listen, I'm not here to judge you. I'm still your friend. I hope so. And I hope that I can make things right with Emily again. And you will. All of us hanging out together lately has shown me what a great person you are. <laughs> Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend. And I think lots of good things will happen to you. Including finding the right girl, if that's what you want. Thanks, that means a lot. And I mean it. As for Catherine Bell, well, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm just in a strange place right now. Well, who wouldn't be? I mean, you just find out your uncle's really your father. <laughs> How weird is that? <laughs> but the truth is, you know... I was mad for maybe five minutes. <laughs> I mean, having Stefan as my father is like a dream come true to me. The only really hard part was when it all came out in public. Yeah, like you said, he thought it was gonna happen soon. Yeah, but I'm glad it's all out. I just, I just hate seeing my aunt make this big power play for the family fortune now that I'm not the heir. I mean, you'd think that, you know, that I'd be used to my family by now. They're all seeing how much power they can get, no matter who they are. Anyway, the good news is, I am no longer Prince Nicholas. I'm just me. So I don't know a whole lot about princes. Except maybe the, the artist formerly known as Prince, or that fresh one who lives in Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what was it like? What was it like? It was like living in a bubble. I mean, I was always around other people, but there was this invisible wall you know, separating me from everyone. It was really strange. <laughs> all the people that we were involved with, they, they all treated me different. They were detached. And they were all so formal. I think I know what you mean. Yeah? I remember when you were dating Sarah, I always used to think that you were... Oh, weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, more like exotic. Exotic. Here you live in this castle you can only get to by boat. I mean, come on, you don't see a whole lot of that around PC. Mm. You ride horses, you know Latin. Wow, you must have thought I was a real freak, huh? Mm. Not once I got to know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been great since you and Lucky and, and Emily and I have been hanging out. You've all treated me as a real person, which is how I wish everyone would treat me. Yeah, but 
aren't you just a little bit sorry to leave that whole fairy tale life behind you? <laughs> I'll let you know when it happens. I haven't lived it yet. So what's up now? Any plans to move to town or enroll at PCU or maybe get a job? A job <laughs> is interesting. <laughs> you know I can put in a good word for you here. You sure were great helping me out the other day. Oh, thank you, but no thank you. Not as long as Luke Spencer runs this place. Hey, come up with any job ideas yet? <clears throat> I made a list. Oh, let me see. Okay, writing instructor, Latin tutor. What? What do you think? Well, um, Nicholas, I don't mean to insult you, but have you ever washed a dirty dish? <laughs> dirty dish? Mm -hmm. Windermere has no dirty dishes, okay? No spotted glasses, no cooking, and no bed making. <laughs> while I sleep, the breakfast makes itself. And while I eat, the bed makes itself, and all the pillows are already automatically fluffed. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm pro I could probably use these skills, but uh, far be it for me to find a school that teaches it. Well, you are in luck because I have the perfect class for you. It's close by, it's private, and you would be the only student enrolled. Yeah, what's that? It's called Scrubbing Pots and Pans 101. Ha! And it's held in my grandmother's <laughs> kitchen right after dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. You two seem happy. Um, oh, it's just Nicholas. You know, he's a laugh. <laughs> yes, yeah, my father's influence, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's Lucky? Oh, he's at the motorcycle shop, working on some new ideas, too. Let me see if I've got this straight. To facilitate the ordering of new parts by computerizing existing inventory. <laughs> anyway, I'm oh going to see goodness. him later. Okay, uh, well, would you mind giving him a message for me, please? Um, Lulu is going to have a little tea party for mm. her friends and their favorite teddy bears. Oh. Now, I don't expect you all to show up with your teddy bears, but it would be awfully nice if you would just stop by or, you know, just give her a call. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll tell Lucky. Great. Excuse me. Thank you, sweetie. Why, uh, why don't you have a seat? <sighs> Thank you. You get that? No, nope, I'm okay. Thanks, sweetie. So, Nicholas, <sighs> I'm looking for you. Uh, you seem happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But, um, how are you, really? I'm, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Well, because your father told me about Alexis making a big scene at GH and letting everybody know within shouting distance the truth. Sorry. You find that amusing? No, no it, it, it's just strange to hear. Someone use the words your father and know that they mean Stefan. You know, I mean, come on, you only get one father in life. In all these years believing that mine was dead when he was not only alive, but with me all along, it's... It's like I said, it's strange. And, but in a good way. In a good way. And I'm, I'm actually grateful to Alexis, kind. I, I hate the family war that she started, but... Since she's told everyone, I, I feel free. I'm just a plain old ordinary person. It's great. Isn't it great? Nicholas, you will never be ordinary. Uh. But I do know what you mean, and I am really glad that some part of what happened has actually made you happy. Uh, as for the rest of it, whatever part Luke may have played in it. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> <laughs>